though I wasn't really going to record this. Uh, dealing with the knocking noise and uh, everything that's been going on with the car, I decided to take it all apart. Got both heads over there. Uh, I've got new head gaskets, new head bolts. I've got another oil pan. Uh, I mean, everything was fine. I found a... This is why I didn't want to open the garage door so early. Anyway, um, I was taking the uh, token rotor bolts out. And I found a bolt that was about three quarters of the way out. Um, I'm not sure if that was my knocking, but they were all tightened down uh, with the drill, and then they were tightened down with the ratchet. Uh, all six of them. So for one of them to be three quarters of the way out was just uh, was shocking. Anyway, uh, let's see what else was crazy. I took off the passenger side head and cylinder number two looked just like that when I took the head off. I didn't even have to clean that cylinder. I didn't have to clean that piston. I didn't have to clean anything compared to the rest that were all black. Well, not really black, but yeah, they had carbon build up on them. Um, and I'm not sure why they have carbon build up on them and not number two. Uh, I also noticed that the cylinder head here for the second, the passenger side, number two, as you can see, is clearly cleaner than the rest of them. I mean, dark, 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 and then. Indicate that there's another problem, but uh, the push rods came out fine from the top. The lifters look fine. I'm going to take those out in a few seconds uh, and see what the lifters look like. Only reason this wasn't taken out and put back in yesterday was because I was waiting on somebody to come help me, but uh, they got a little tied up. So they're supposed to be here today. We're going to get this all squared away. Hopefully, I can find that knock. Hopefully, it's just a loose bolt and not too much damage has been done. But that's just a little update. Uh, like I said, I wasn't planning on recording all of this. So I was just going to do it and tell you guys what happened. Uh, just for the sake of constantly doing the same thing. I know some of you guys might be tired of it at this point. <laughs> which I am too. So that's just what I got for y'all right now. But let me go ahead and see if I can figure some stuff out. Take these lifters out and wait for them to get here. So we can get started on taking this engine out. And like checking out the bottom end. Got the lifters out. Out of their respective banks, bank two, bank one, uh, let's say half bank one, half bank two, I mean one, half bank one, one, two, and two, one, and two, two, uh, just like they came out of the engine, and uh, none of them look abnormal at all, you know, none of them have any metal transfer, scoring, scarring, anything like that. But to ensure they work on every cylinder, I'm gonna do a lifter rotation. As you know, you know, they do tire rotations, I'm gonna do a lifter rotation. Switch them around and uh, make sure they work. You know, that's all. Just make sure they're not getting any issues, anything like that. They're all covered with oil, stuff like that. So that's good news. But uh, still waiting on them to get here. Probably not, it doesn't look like it to me, but uh, these cam gloves are fine. I checked them all, both sides of the whole thing. None of them have, uh, you know, 
into your abnormal wear or your lifter transfer, metal transfer. So that's a good thing. Uh, still waiting. You guys want to know how clutch some people are? Let me let me explain to you. Now, let me walk over here and show y'all just how close in proximity we are. that house that is the house with the Ford Bronco right and we're talking one day after he got his uh truck rebuilt I told him I heard him and he told me he heard me and we spoke about it yada 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 you know one thing leads to another cool because we're car guys and uh the guy that was supposed to help me uh canceled on me today yesterday the day before told me he's gonna be here today then canceled on me again said it had to be later it's cold it's rainy I don't have time for that yet again and uh I just said hey let me walk around there and see if they can help me out. Lo and behold, boom! Clutch. He came in clutch. And not only that, with a leveler. Like, what? So, yeah. Needless to say, I'm excited right now. I'm just going to yank this out, check this bottom end, and uh, put it back together. Let's get to it. Alright, so as you can see, I've got the entire block out of the car, oil pan off, gasket and everything. And there is not a single rod that moves. Not a single rod. Not a single solitary rod that I can move with as much muscle as I can put on it. Nothing. Like there's there's absolutely no rod that moves. Uh, yet again, here I am sitting confused. It could have just been that torque converter bolt. I don't know. I read online that sometimes they make a sound that makes it sound like it's knocking, and it's really not. But for right now, I just I don't know. Ow! And it was more, it was more here, and it started to have me worry because I thought maybe, you know, the bearings were bad. I don't know if they're supposed to move or not. I'm not really sure. The can looks good. That glimmer right there in the middle. That shiny in the middle. That's the can. These uh, walls still look great down there. They still look amazing. I, I don't know what the sound was. Like, I'm starting to think it was just like the whole crank moving. I wish I could just grab it just yank on it but I don't really have a spot to do so like I don't really have a good that ain't gonna do it that's not gonna do it Jesus what is going on here
still gotta figure out that squeak and not sure what that is. It's not coming out of the exhaust. Well, I mean, it's not coming out of the headers anymore or it's not leaking out of the headers. It's actually coming from back here where the sound is coming from. So I'm not sure what it is, but I'll figure it out. But I actually lowered the idle and look at her. Look at her, idling a lot lower. She still surges a little bit, at least on startup. I'm not sure for what reason, but you know me. I'm gonna try to figure it out. But listen to her though, she sounds great. Minus that squeaking, I don't know what that is. Now look at this. The camera is perfectly level. The car is sitting like this. Look, you see how the car is straight now? There it is. That's a better view. The car is running like that. Tilted at such an angle with no issues. No knocking. No ticking. Just that annoying ass squeak. Coolant's going down. You know, got a bleeder out. Everybody knows the process. Uh oh. I mean, we run it at 900, around about 800. I try to do a little rinky dink uh, close off for the exhaust. Um, like I did with the headers, I put the RTV on the headers. And I don't know if you can see, I tried to put, um, I tried to put RNTV on the exhaust. It's working. It's not working that well, but it's working a lot better than before. So, just waiting for these fans to kick on. Waiting for the thermostat to get hot. I'm keeping an eye on everything. Everything looks looks solid. Everything looks solid. Just gotta figure out that damn squeaking though. Okay, let's try this on level the ground. Or at least level for the car. So look. Look at that. No knocking. Just that damn squeak. It can't be the valves and it can't be the pistons because they didn't squeak when I didn't have the heads on. And I listened for that. So I'm not sure what it is.
let y'all know. I am not doing that. No, one would think I had E85 in this car. I have no idea why it's doing that. Uh, I might try to raise the idle again and, and see if that gets me anywhere, but I, that's weird. I mean, we, we, we know that the timing is good. The cam hasn't snapped the pin. Everything's running right, at least cam-wise. The lobes are good. The lifters were fine. The push rides are good. Work arms were solid. Um, the valves were good, even though we had that one uh, cylinder that was not firing. Um, torque converter has been retightened. Um, oil pan didn't touch the timing cover. Let's see. Let's see the intake planner. Everything up there dealing with that. Um, that's about all I got. I'm not sure why it's doing this, but we can find out. I tell you, I did lower the uh, RPM. I lowered the RPM while it's in drive, the two, because he told me I was running lean, so I didn't want to have it, you know, flying up with not enough fuel, because then, boom, there goes your pistons. So, that's why it only goes to 2K and not to 7. It'll get there. I just gotta work out these bugs first. I'm still uh, airing it out. It's getting real stinky in here. I might pass out. Um, because you know, carbon. So let's see if I can move it. Let's, let's try that. All right, let's try it. I just wasted all that money because I thought I moved it out the way. And what did I do? Ran right the fuck over it. I ran right over it. The whole brand new bottle. Gone. Brand new bottle. I was about to use that. That's gone. Way to go, Roberson. I checked to make sure I had everything out the way and still didn't see that. Man, that's ridiculous. Cause I was thinking to myself, well, I heard we went over that, and I'm not at the back tire, so what the hell was that sound? <sighs> Get all that fresh coolant, fresh, fresh coolant, like brand new. <sighs> Damn. All right, well, um, I'm not walking that way, cause I'm not stepping in that already, even though I, I had to to get there. So we gonna walk around back, and we gonna try this again. Cause I gotta get out of here. I can't. I can't do this inside the garage. I'm gonna die. All right. Start up for me. Start up for me. Nice and easy. There you go. There you go. That's weird. 
close this garage. And there she is, running yet again with no knocking. Just that damn squeak. Ah, what? Yeah, she's getting there, starting to steam too. Yeah, that's what I need. I need it. For, I need for it to steam, baby. That's right, steam for me, baby. Steam for me, baby. We're we gonna work out all these bugs. All of them. We gonna work out all of them. I love Nettos, man. Look at this tire bark. That tire bark is so dope. That shit is dope. I think that's about the best, best looking tire tread mark I've ever seen. That's dope.